Porphyria cutanea tarda is the most common subtype of porphyria. The disease is named because it is a porphyria that often presents with skin manifestations later in life. The disorder results from low levels of the enzyme responsible for the fifth step in heme production. Heme is a vital molecule for all of the body's organs. It is a component of hemoglobin, the molecule that carries oxygen in the blood. Hepatoerythropoietic porphyria has been described as a homozygous form of porphyria cutanea tarda, although it can also be caused if two different mutations occur at the same locus. Signs and Symptoms Porphyria cutanea tarda is recognized as the most prevalent subtype of porphyritic diseases. The disease is characterized by onycholysis and blistering of the skin in areas that receive higher levels of exposure to sunlight. The primary cause of this disorder is a deficiency of aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase, a cytosolic enzyme that is a step in the enzymatic pathway that leads to the synthesis of heme. While a deficiency in this enzyme is the direct cause leading to this disorder, there are a number of both genetic and environmental risk factors that are associated with PCT. Typically, patients who are ultimately diagnosed with PCT first seek treatment following the development of photosensitivities in the form of blisters and erosions on commonly exposed areas of the skin. This is usually observed in the face, hands, forearms, and lower legs. It heals slowly and with scarring. Though blisters are the most common skin manifestations of PCT, other skin manifestations like hyperpigmentation and hypertrichosis also occur. PCT is a chronic condition, with external symptoms often subsiding and recurring as a result of a number of factors. In addition to the symptomatic manifestation of the disease in the skin, chronic liver problems are extremely common in patients with the sporadic form of PCT. These include hepatic fibrosis, cirrhosis, and inflammation. However, liver problems are less common in patients with the inherited form of the disease. Additionally, patients will often void a wine red color urine with an increased concentration of aeroporphyrinae due to their enzymatic deficiency. Cause Genetics Inherited mutations in the UROD gene cause about 20% of cases. UROD makes an enzyme called aeroporphyrinogen 3 decarboxylase, which is critical to the chemical process that leads to heme production. The activity of this enzyme is usually reduced by 50% in all tissues in people with the inherited form of the condition. Non-genetic factors such as alcohol abuse, excess iron, and others listed above can increase the demand for heme and the enzymes required to make heme. The combination of this increased demand and reduced activity of aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase disrupts heme production and allows byproducts of the process to accumulate in the body, triggering the signs and symptoms of porphyria cutanea tarda. The HFE gene makes a protein that helps cells regulate the absorption of iron from the digestive tract and into the cells of the body. Certain mutations in the HFE gene cause hemochromatosis. People who have these mutations are also at an increased risk of developing porphyria cutanea tarda. In the 20% of cases where porphyria cutanea tarda is inherited, it is inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern, which means one copy of the altered gene is sufficient to decrease enzyme activity and cause the signs and symptoms of the disorder. Other, while inherited deficiencies in aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase often lead to the development of PCT. There are a number of risk factors that can both cause and exacerbate the symptoms of this disease. One of the most common risk factors observed is infection with the hepatitis C virus. One review of a collection of PCT studies noted hepatitis C infection in 50% of documented cases of PCT. Additional risk factors include alcohol abuse, excess iron, and exposure to chlorinated cyclic hydrocarbons and Agent Orange. It can be a perineoplastic phenomenon. Exacerbating factors, alcohol, estrogen, iron, pathogenesis, porphyria cutanea tarda is primarily caused by aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase deficiency. Aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase occurs in nature as a homodimer of two subunits. It participates in the fifth step in heme synthesis pathway, and is active in the cytosol. This enzymatic conversion results in coproporphyrinogen 3 as the primary product. 
This is accomplished by the clockwise removal of the four carboxyl groups present in the cyclic Hera porphyrinogen 3 molecule. Therefore, a deficiency in this enzyme causes the aforementioned buildup of Hera porphyrinogen in the urine, which can be helpful in the diagnosis of this disorder. The dermatological symptoms of PCT that include blistering and lesions on sun exposed areas of the skin are caused by a buildup of porphyrin compounds close to the surface of the skin. Due to the highly conjugated structure of porphyrins involving alternating single and double carbon bonds, these compounds exhibit a deep purple color, resulting in the discoloration observed in the skin. The excess aeroporphyrinogen that leads to these lesions is primarily produced in the liver, but exposure to excess sunlight is thought to lead to the production of reactive oxygen species, disrupting the activity of aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase and contributing to the buildup of aeroporphyrinogen. This is thought to be the underlying biochemical pathway behind the photosensitivity observed in patients with PCT. The strong association of PCT with hepatitis C infection is not entirely understood. Studies have suggested that the cytopathic effect of the virus on hepatocytes can lead to the release of free iron. This iron can disrupt the activity of cytochrome P450, releasing activated oxygen species. These can oxidize the UROD substrate aeroporphyrinogen, which can result in the inhibition of UROD and lead to deficient activity of this key enzyme. Excess alcohol abuse is frequently associated with both inducing PCT and aggravating a pre-existing diagnosis of the disorder. It is thought to do so by causing oxidative damage to liver cells, resulting in oxidized species of aeroporphyrinogen that inhibit the activity of hepatic UROD. It is also felt to increase the uptake of iron in liver cells, leading to further oxidation of aeroporphyrinogen by the release of activated oxygen species. Additionally, exposure to chlorinated cyclic hydrocarbons can lead to a deficiency in the activity of aeroporphyrinogen decarboxylase, causing the buildup of excess aeroporphyrinogen. Diagnosis While the most common symptom of PCT is the appearance of skin lesions and blistering, their appearance does not single-handedly lead to a conclusive diagnosis. Laboratory testing will commonly reveal high levels of aeroporphyrinogen in the urine, clinically referred to as aeroporphyrinogenuria. Additionally, testing for common risk factors such as hepatitis C and hemochromatosis is strongly suggested, as their high prevalence in patients with PCT may require additional treatment. If clinical appearance of PCT is present, but laboratories are negative, one needs to seriously consider the diagnosis of pseudoporphyria. Classification Some sources divide PCT into two types, sporadic and familial. Other sources include a third type, but this is less common. One study used 74% as the cutoff for UROD activity, with those patients under that number being classified as type 2 and those above classified as type 3 if there was a family history, and type I if there was not. Genetic variants associated with hemochromatosis have been observed in PCT patients, which may help explain inherited PCT not associated with UROD. Treatment Since PCT is a chronic condition, a comprehensive management of the disease is the most effective means of treatment. Primarily, it is key that patients diagnosed with PCT avoid alcohol consumption, iron supplements, excess exposure to sunlight, as well as estrogen and chlorinated cyclic hydrocarbons, all of which can potentially exacerbate the disorder. Additionally, the management of excess iron can be achieved through phlebotomy, whereby blood is systematically drained from the patient. Low doses of antimalarials can be used. They remove excess porphyrins from the liver by increasing the excretion rate. Remission can be seen within 6 a euro 12 months. Originally, higher doses were used to treat the condition but are no longer recommended because of liver toxicity. Finally, due to the strong association between PCT and hepatitis C, the treatment of hepatitis C is vital to the effective treatment of PCT. Chlorokine, hydroxychloroquine, and venesection are typically employed in the management strategy. Epidemiology, Porphyria cutanea tarda has a prevalence estimated at approximately 1 in 10,000. 
an estimated 80% of porphyria cutanea tarda cases are sporadic. The exact frequency is not clear because many people with the condition never experience symptoms. Society and culture, Porphyria Cutanea Tarda is also the name of a song by the punk band AFI on their fourth album Black Sails in the Sunset, released on May 18, 1999. Porphyria is implicated in the origin of vampire myths because people with the disease tend to avoid the sun due to blistering and desire iron-rich foods due to their enzymatic deficiency. References External links Porphyria Cutanea Tarda at NIH's Office of Rare Diseases www.porphyria-europe.com